habitat in this part of the river years ago was a lot of it eelgrass along the shoreline. And since the river's gotten saltier, the eelgrass has, has died in this whole part of the river. You have almost none. And you've ended up with a river that a lot of it is just barren. It doesn't get any light, doesn't have any growth as far as grass. CCA started a couple of years ago to get an inshore reef habitat project. It's an idea to, to get uh, something on the barren bottom that barnacles and, and natural growth can get onto and be a, a spot that can attract the fish. Uh, the fishermen can fish there, but it also is going to be a nursery for the smaller fish. First of all, what we'll expect is low visibility. I mean, that's uh, what we can interpret in, in the diver's world as uh, braille diving. We'll probably go down there and actually do our feeling around. And maybe we'll have a couple inches of visibility. Our, one of our goals is that we've already done a, a electronical survey on, on the bottom out here. Now we want to kind of give it a human type touch to it to see if what we're seeing on the electrical side concurs what we feel on the bottom actually. So we'll go out there and do some probing and hoping we don't run into any of the natural uh, marine concerns down there. So this concrete behind me here is the actual material that's going to be used to build our reefs. And this is probably the best visual way to get an idea of the scale of the project. It's 1,300 tons of recycled concrete. You see, when trucks are done with a job site, they generally have a little bit of concrete left over. So they bring it back here to the yard and they pour it out in a line. After the concrete dries, they break it up and create these chunks you see here. Now normally this concrete would be crushed up, but in our case, it's being put to good use to create reef habitat. The concrete reef material was transported to the shipyard where it was loaded piece by piece onto the barge. Once loaded, the barge then made its way down the St. John's River, passing under the unique bridges of downtown Jacksonville. The Project Chase boat was first to arrive on site, and crew was able to mark the deployment location with a floating buoy prior to the barge's arrival. Once on site, the material began to be deployed. Our first priority is to protect the fishery. We want to make sure that there's plenty of fish out there, that the conservation efforts are taking place there. We want to make sure that there's recreational angler access to the fish, and if we create additional habitat, it works toward both of, both of those additional goals. We're losing a lot of the freshwater aquatic grasses, which were natural nursery habitat for ju juvenile species. Uh, so, so this will be nursery habitat for other juvenile species right over here. It is a great project for uh, recreational boating fishermen. Uh, this is easy access from the river. We have five public boat ramps within about three miles of this project. All right, so behind us here, we have a barge load of concrete material that we're placing in the river. And to give you an idea of scale, this barge holds probably roughly 80 tons of material. It's going to take us up to 18 or so barges to make this entire reef. So we named one of the reefs the Coastal Conservation Association Reef, and we named the other reef the George Holt Reef. And George was one of our anchor core uh, grassroots volunteers who loved this river and worked tirelessly to, uh, to improve the health of the river. Now after 18 barge loads of material had been deployed, the only way to take a look at the reef was via side scan sonar. 
its sonar imagery showed piles of concrete rising five feet off the river bottom. This is really, I call, a win-win situation. This bill will be here but when your uh, grandkids get ready to fish. The tourism industry in Florida, a lot of it is, is, is tied to fishing and to, and to a healthy habitat. Uh, this is going to be a, a project that uh, helps the, uh, the fish, the, the crustaceans, the, the crabs, everything. And it's going to be uh, real interesting to see how it works. 